Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be showing you how to make this uh, pellet gun today, you know? So stick around, let's have some fun. All right guys, and we're back. So what we're gonna need is a quick exhaust valve, right? This is a, let's see, quarter inch, quarter inch, and three quarter inch, okay? Then we're gonna need a quarter inch release valve as well. This is the exhaust quick release, okay? Um, quarter inch elbow, so it's gonna be male to female. Then we're gonna need a, I believe this is three inch, quarter inch pipe. This is a female to male, quarter inch ball valve. Then this is a quarter inch to one eighth of an inch uh, elbow then a female to male quarter uh, eighth inch elbow and we're gonna need a female to female to male eighth of eighth inch uh, T and then we have a what is this a one eighth to one eighth butt connector and then a quick release hose quick release I believe and this right here is for your air tank right here so this is for your paintball gun right and it usually it comes with a hose connected on your paintball gun or uh, extension hose right and it just screws on there so we're gonna need that right there uh, I got this right here probably for about 30 bucks I believe on Amazon not too expensive it's just a what is it again I think it's what is it I think it's a nine ounce CL2 tank uh, yeah I think it's rated at I believe let me check uh, yeah it's rated at uh, 3000 PSI yeah 3000 PSI it's right there and uh, I've used this for a lot it's, best tank I've bought so far um, for this sort of setup at least stand it up uh, don't shake all right and then uh, for tools we're gonna need just regular uh, I don't know husky pliers right here that I have Chivos probably like three bucks that I spent on them then uh, it's a quarter inch uh, quarter inch uh, three inch pipe right here and then vice grips and Teflon tape. You need Teflon tape. You can use the paste as well. I prefer the tape, it's cheaper, you know, does the job. So let's get this started. So first we're gonna start with the quick release valve to the exhaust valve. And it's gonna go right here. Now I've already put Teflon tape on all of this right here. So this what I use this pipe for right here so just screw it on here you know not tight or anything it's just to get some grip on there and uh, I know a lot of you are gonna tease me and tell me all this and that about using bias grips on this sort of pipe or not pipe but uh, brass fittings but uh, for all this right here I'm gonna need them so we won't have to be adjusting them all the time Now, uh, this exhaust valve right here, I got it on Amazon as well. I think I paid five bucks for it, probably ten bucks, somewhere in there with shipping and all. And um, I bought two of them actually. Used them on a lot of projects. Yeah, that's on there good. So now we're gonna use this. It's a male to female quarter inch elbow. Put it right there. And again, we're going to use the same thing, the pipe. This right here, it's honestly, if you're doing this sort of project right here, it's the best thing. Now we're going to put on tight. Yep, just about there. Yeah, 
perfect. Now we're going to use the quarter inch, three inch pipe. Screw that on there again. Yeah, it's on there good. Yeah. Tighten that up. This one honestly right here needs about probably twist and a half, maybe just a twist. Put it in the wrong place. Said. only a twist and a half honestly it depends on how how much teflon you put on it and how tight you you really want it but with that teflon tape on there it uh, does it all tightening for you so now we're going with the female to male quarter inch ball valve these are I, don't know what, I think these are husky right here as well this ball valve home depot cheap does work as well though, but it's the right one. I got this one exactly for the for pressure, uh, for air pressure, for compressors. There, that's tight right there. Now the thing about these exhaust valves right here is that. Uh, you have to get the length right here just right because if you don't it will not close and uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit what if it's inside of this exhaust valve but uh, yeah if you don't get the right length of, of pipe right there in between the this right this pipe right here and the tank it will not work it just won't I've had uh, a lot of issues building this right here designing it just right so that it uh, it works for what I want to do Just right there. I'm trying to line these up right here because I need the the elbow to be aiming down and then the valve to be straight up and down as well that way it will close with the tank being right under it so now we're gonna go with the we did that quarter inch to one eighth uh, elbow female to male now we're gonna go with the one eighth to one eighth to male I mean uh, female to male the sweet part about this is that I'm gonna have a lot of fun shooting it I already made a, at least a good 20 or so of these right here. This is actually the first time I've ever made one with the exhaust valve. Usually I just go straight ball valve and that's it to the tank. But uh, I was looking online and I was like, hey, what's that? <laughs> so I did a little bit of research and I was realized that I've been doing all my my pellet guns, air guns, nerf guns, just the wrong way. You know, these right here are a lot of fun to to make with the the exhaust valve on the because you can shoot multiple times. You can also use like a what are those called? The oh shoot, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Uh, just an air gun for your compressor right to a hose but uh, 
it's not the same thing as shooting one of these right here. It gives more pressure to it. It's backed up. Last twist right here should be good. Yep, just right there. Okay, so now we're going to put this piece on here. So this is uh, the 1 8 to 1 8 connector to a quick release uh, hose connector for your compressor. But, uh, I didn't want to take this one off right here because it, ha it has such a good connection on it from my last build. I was like, yeah, no, let's leave it on there because I had issues with this uh this one right here in particular leaking from right there I don't know why I think it has bad thread So now, the one of your most important parts to this build, this right here for your CO2 tank. Now, that's a CO2 tank, but uh, I'm using it as a air tank. You can put CO2 in there as well, but uh, I'm using air because I don't have a CO2 tank. I mean a CO2 compressor. Probably should have put this one afterward and tighten this thing up with the tank itself. Right there. Ah, I messed that up. It's alright. That's it right there. So uh, let's test it out right now. We're gonna fill it up. So I'll show you right now how I'll fill this up. But uh, it's pretty much it. That's how you build it right there. You can fill this up with your compressor, your air pump, pipe pump, whatever you want. As long as you have this this fitting right there. So let's fill it up and. Uh, have some fun with it. Alright guys, so this is what I used to fill up the tank on this gun right here. So all I did was I customized it. I cut off the the bike pump uh, fitting on there, right? And I put a quick release. Now quick release right here, right? And then these are the fittings that go to the quick release. I uh, customized it right here because uh, I did a lot of projects <laughs> with this. So this is the, the best way that I could find to fill it up with uh, besides using my compressor. My compressor is a big old one. I don't really want to turn it on. It freaking uses 240 power. That's pretty expensive just for a little simple project that uh, I have fun with. And uh, this right here, it's only rated at 160, but I actually have gotten this up to 200. I don't recommend it, but you know, it's done the job so far. So uh, let's uh, let's fill this up right here real quick, and we'll be back. All right, guys. So she's all pumped up right there. Now there is a little trick to how you fill this up. So it's already filled up all the way. Right, it's 
marking on there that it's at 160. I think it's a 200 because <laughs> when I put my my uh, meter to this, it always says 200. So yeah. So the way you disconnect this is just like a normal quick release, right? That's gonna happen right there. It always happens. And then you turn the valve, okay? So when you turn the valve, it's gonna leak air right here for a little bit. Normal, it's just because it's it's closing up right here. There's a small rubber inside that slides forward and back. So, let's see. See? It's leak a little bit of air. So then what I do is I close this back up, connect it again, and then uh, give it about 10 pumps. So. So that was 13 pumps right there. I guess it took a little bit more air than it usually does, but yeah, then we turn the valve back again. And it's already. So release that again. And then, as you see, the valve is already open. So if you come to shoot this, it will shoot. So, uh, all right, guys. So she's all filled up now. Um, let's go have some fun with this. But first, let me show you guys what I use as a barrel. So this right here is a piece of brake line. So I went to Napa. I don't know if you guys have any auto parts stores like that. It's uh, They sell uh, <laughs> car parts, basically. So what I did was I got a piece of brake line, right, and this was a three foot piece right i cut it down to half so it's at about a foot and a half right now and what i did was i got a piece of rubber from air tube right and i cut it up into th three different pieces and then i slid a piece of uh three quarter inch uh fitting and i just screw it on here right And on there, let's get the pliers, tighten it up. Don't need to be too tight. It doesn't leak any air through here at all. If uh, Honestly, I just do it by hand most of the time. I never really take it off though, but yeah. And then uh, I got this 1 8 fitting. It actually, brass fitting slid right over it. And uh, I banged it a couple times with the with the hammer just to get on there nice and tight and uh, it's on there what I use it for is for my silencer and it actually works if you guys want to watch a video on this I will be throwing it up probably within a week from now um, but yeah look out for it so what I do is I screw it on here right And she fits in there. So uh, let's go outside right now and have some fun with this. Hey guys, so I was going to go outside and shoot this gun. But right when I walked outside, it started raining. So we're going to shoot this inside. I have a can set up, a box. It's about uh, probably a good 10 feet away. Let's, let's see what the accuracy is like at least, you know. You can see some damage, it'll go through some cans, but uh, it's fun, so let's do it. Alright, so this is what we will be shooting. These are just regular BBs from, uh, for the pellet guns, you know, that they, the regular 6mm that they have. And then we have our setup over there. Now, the way that I shoot, sorry, not shoot, uh, reload this uh, is just basically throw the BB down the barrel. That's it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out uh, a good setup for uh, 
a clip on these right here straight off the barrel and but yeah so uh let's shoot this right here let me get adjusted so this is about 10 feet right here and uh let's check it out <laughs> so that was the first shot right there and as you can see my accuracy is pretty good <laughs> so uh, let's go see what this as you can see goes through <laughs> We're gonna have a little bit more fun with it. So, put that right there. And let's do a closer shot. I know I can't. The first one was a lucky shot. Oh, we're actually out of air. Shoot, no. Yeah, so that was more than 10 shots right there. Ran out though. So, I'm not going to fill it up, but I'm going to show you guys uh, how to shoot this. So, the way you shoot this is, this right here is your trigger. So, when you pull this back, it releases the air pocket right here in the back of it. And it pushes the rubber that's inside back. And it releases the air from down here. So, fun little little trick right there that I found out, actually. <laughs> 